The End of the Progressive Era By 1920, Americans had grown tired of war, and they'd grown tired of reform. Plus, they'd also lost their progressive champions. President Wilson, who wore himself out physically, trying to rally support for the Treaty of Versailles. He underwent a nationwide speaking tour, and while on tour, he suffered a stroke on September 25, 1919. He never recovered and became an invalid. Yes, your President of the United States from 1919 to 19, 1921 was, was, was incapacitated. Wilson finally died in 1924, and he is currently buried at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. The Progressive's other hero, Theodore Roosevelt, died on January 6, 1919. After losing the 1912 election, Roosevelt went to Brazil to tackle the Amazon. After all, he had to go, he had to go prove he was still part of the strenuous life. However, this, this tour of the Amazon was a disaster, and according to biographer Candace Millard, it nearly drove T.R. to suicide. Roosevelt never recovered from the experience, and then once war broke out in Europe, T.R. immediately supported intervention into the war, and he sent his sons to the war after the United States went to war. He himself volunteered to create another volunteer cavalry, but Wilson wouldn't let him do it, saying that former U.S. presidents do not engage in military actions. In July 1918, Roosevelt learned that his youngest son, Quentin, was killed in France. Quentin was a fighter pilot. Quentin was also Roosevelt's favorite son. T.R. took this news hard. Thus, on Armistice Day, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, while the rest of the, ne rest of the world breathed a sigh of relief that this war had finally come to a ceasefire, Roosevelt was rushed to the hospital, where he died six weeks later. Thus, without their two heroes, and the defeat of the Treaty of Versailles on the Senate floor, the progressive movement loses all steam that it has, and the era ends without a whimper at the national level. Fact is, the nation is ready for a change, and that change is going to come in the reactionary 20s. Thank you for watching this video on the end of the progressive movement, and as always, may the force be with you.